Hey guys, welcome to my channel, AK Valia, and today we're gonna talk about how to use Zoom waiting room. This is a security feature of Zoom that prevents unauthorized access to any of the Zoom meetings that you are doing, and it helps make your Zoom meetings more secure. There are other ways too in which you can make your Zoom meetings more secure, and if you're if you want to talk if you want to see all those ways then you can click on the top right hand screen uh, which will show you a comprehensive list of ways in which you can make your zoom meetings more secure apart from that i will also be telling you uh, as a host if you have enabled the zoom waiting room feature how to let other participants in so let us jump right into it uh, you can access the waiting room feature by uh, going on to the, your zoom dashboard so for that you just log into uh, your zoom dashboard online uh, so i am here on the zoom zoom website and i click on sign in to sign in into my account and i click on sign in as my credentials are already saved it will just log me into the zoom dashboard so the enable waiting room feature is present uh, in the settings and you can enable the waiting room feature on an overall level as well as on a meeting level so if you want to uh, enable it on an overall level you can just go to settings on the left hand side of your zoom dashboard and uh, click on in meeting advanced uh, which will give you a host of options if you want me to talk about these options as well let me know in the comments and i will explain what each option is so after clicking on in meeting advanced uh, and scrolling down you will see a waiting room option now this is enabled for me uh, as i have want to keep my zoom meeting secure and this option basically says that attendees cannot join a meeting until a host admits them individually from the waiting room and if the waiting room is enabled the option for attendees to join the meeting before the host is automatically disabled so what this basically means is if you're posting uh, your link on a public domain or if your link uh, gets in the wrong hands uh, anybody who's trying to enter the meeting will be uh, will have to wait in a waiting room first and after seeing who is the person and uh, you can have the option of letting them in the meeting or you can have the option of removing them i will also show you how you can do that how you can let people in the meeting from a waiting room and how you can uh, remove them so this is how you enable the waiting room on an overall level for all of your meetings if you want to uh, just enable it for some meetings what you can do is you can enable it on an individual level for that uh, what you can do is you can scroll up and you can click on schedule a meeting uh, on on the right hand side of the screen as you can see and you can enable the waiting room option on a meeting level uh, when you're scheduling a meeting so the schedule a meeting tab opens and uh, you can go to meeting options and you could click on enable waiting room to enable this feature i have enabled this on an overall level as i just showed you so it is automatically enabled for uh, all my meetings and zoom uh, in order to uh, in order to beef up its security and make its meeting more secure have recently enabled this for all people and all accounts so uh, for the newer account especially so if you have an older account just make sure that you log into your dashboard and see that this feature is enabled and now i'm going to show you as a host how to let other people who are waiting in the waiting room enter the meeting so for that i'm going to quickly create a meeting here so i'm going to go to the new meeting tab and i'm going to go on participants and um, i'm going to generate a meeting url i'm going to copy the url and then i'm going to go my to my email and send it to another email that i have so that i can enter as a participant in the waiting room and show you guys how to let uh, another person in now this message is sent and uh, what i will do is i will uh, just go 
to uh, the email ID that I sent the invite to from my other personal device and uh, click on the meeting link. So as soon as I click on the meeting link, I will uh, get an option of a person waiting to enter. So as you can see here, uh, I have an option in the participants tab where it shows that uh, a person is waiting to be admitted. Now I can see the profile photo, I can see the name, and then I can decide whether I want that person to be a part of the meeting or not. If I want that person to be a part of the meeting, I can just click on admit, otherwise I can click on remove. Or if I want to confirm the identity, I can click on message and I can ask for further clarification. So if I want to admit the person, I just click on admit. And as you can see, the person now here is uh, in the in the meeting as well. You can access the admit option from the participants tab. Uh, whenever more persons will come and they will be in the meeting meeting room, this participants tab will be uh, of a red color, and it will also show you a prompt that someone's trying to enter the meeting. So you can just click on the participants tab, and you can go and. Uh, admit or remove persons in the meeting uh, in the waiting room so this is how you use uh, the zoom waiting room and uh, if you like the content please hit like and the bell notification icon so that you guys can keep updated on the regular content that i'm posting if you want to see how to use zoom uh, i have uh, i have a full tutorial on how to use zoom and uh, the link is given at the top right hand side of the screen so you can go click on that and see how to use zoom and its different functionalities apart from that if you have any other difficulties uh, in using zoom you can let me know in the comments so that i can get back to it signing off keep rocking